world's taking over. And that was my video part that came out three years ago, June 2017, in the Take Over the World video that Revive put out. You can actually buy the hard copy or just digital download if you want. Link in description down below. It's a super, super good, fun vibe. You know how Revive is. If you know Andy Schrock or his content, it's always just good times with friends. And that's how the whole video is, except with our best skateboarding attached. Everyone else killed it. Johnny Geiger killed it. Andy Schrock killed it. Everyone in the video, I think, just did so well and also to see a full part from Aaron Cairo felt so so good and everybody just kind of put in everything in it that was awesome that being said uh, it's not one of my favorite parts of myself by far at all the part was too short I, I should have had it at least twice as long especially because it was the last part in the video I went professional at the premiere when the video part played at the very end and that fun big vibe that was happening it you know the part should have been at least twice as long and uh I felt like, you know, I was always disappointed with how that turned out. I'm still proud of the tricks that I did in it. They're actually harder tricks that I've done in my life, but it was filmed by several different people. So even putting the footage together was a little awkward. I also accidentally exported it and sent it to Andy in 24 frames and the video is in 60 frames. So if you see my part in the video, it like looks weird. It's got this weird vibe. It was also edited by Sarah Dietschy. At the time, I was so stressed trying to upload a YouTube video every day, which is why I think the video part didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, because I mean, every day making YouTube videos, stressing out so, 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 so bad. Probably the most stressful time of my life. I remember going to sleep like, dude, I can't do this, I'm dying. And Sarah was like, hey, just let me take a look at it. And that night she edited that full part. And that's why she's a real one, the realist the realest of them all. So I haven't actually filmed a video part since I've become a professional skateboarder, which I know sounds ludicrous, but this is a new age in skating to where, you know, the whole goal for a professional skateboarder is to sell boards for the company they ride for. And since I've been doing that, I haven't really felt compelled to make a video part, especially because I put in so much skating all the time. Like I probably put out 10 plus hours of content of skateboarding alone every year. On top of that, I could not film a video part. So what I would have to do is to reduce that by a good portion and then 
work on filming in the streets. Watching this part makes me so nostalgic because it's just such a different time when I was living in California and Sarah would be visiting for a month or so and you know not too long after that I moved to New York City and I've been here for three years plus. My content has changed a lot and I actually love so much more where my life is and where the, you know, where, how we have progressed daily now, being like a second channel and all my friends filming, having a skate park in Columbia, South Carolina. So much has changed since then and I, I, I'm so happy. It's like a cool milestone to look back on and be like, that happened and now like, look at this. Including that video part, I've actually filmed 20 video parts in my life and uh, I think 21 should be a professional part and I think I should do that. And I think that is something that I will start to work on slowly but surely. But the truth is I don't want it to be traditional at all. Like part of me wants to just film it on my own because that's a very rare concept. Um, and I don't think it's been done very much in skating. And you know, that's something that I happen to specialize in is giving the right angles for myself and trying to tell a story with my own angles. I don't know, it seems ridiculous, but part of me kind of wants to do that. I'm not sure if I want my part to be in New York or Columbia or both, but I definitely want it to be East Coast. That part was a lot of California, and I, I filmed a couple California parts, but for now on I think it's going to be like New York, Columbia, uh, Cincinnati probably, and just, you know, that's it. Or maybe just one of the cities. Who knows? I don't even know yet. I haven't even started, so. But trust me, deep down. Hey, man, kind of violence. There's a lady just yelling at someone else for not wearing a mask and I'm sitting here like, oh, put this on real quick before she looks like, sorry. I can literally still hear her yelling. Dude, she's just yelling at everyone. What the hell? I'm gonna keep this video relatively short, even though the talking bit was probably longer than the video part itself, uh, which means next time I make a part, it's gotta be at least five minutes. That's the goal. I want two songs. I want it to be a banger, whatever. That's it. Uh, just throwing this on my channel. Hopefully you enjoyed and let me know if you like seeing that kind of skating or if for you it doesn't feel much different than watching my skateboarding in everyday videos because really it's not that much different. When I go street skateboarding and when I film a trick for Instagram, I try. It's not like I'm not trying for that as well. Some of the tricks are better than the part because I just know that it's like a better trick but some of the tricks that I do for Instagram are like way harder than some of the tricks I did for my part and that's just how it goes now. It's a weird world. That's skateboarding. I love it so much and I love your face for being here and tuning in and hopefully appreciating the content. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel, but on my Progress Daily channel, there's a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So five days a week, five videos a week, tune in, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it.